right. So, hi everyone. Thank you for joining us again today. Um, siguro before we start, ano nga tayo? Shout out muna tayo. Pwede bang i- ano, what is our topic yes, last week? Sige nga, tingnan natin kung na-remember nyo pa lahat yun. Puti rin na chat box nga, please. Meron ba? My prize. Wala pa, wala pa. Kalimutan ata, Sir Dung ah. Mahihain, Dachil. Mahihain. Okay. Yeah, thank you for joining us again today. Good afternoon. So for last week, we were able to discuss about about work. Diba? And uh, for today, we will talk about character. Naman. So yeah. Again, the, the purpose of this, this uh, pilot test is about uh, how we can improve more. No? So we really appreciate all the feedback. Ano? that you uh, gave, uh, gave last time. Hopefully we can, ano, uh, you again, share what are your thoughts and how we can still improve on this particular material. We really appreciate that. Um, for today, uh, we'll focus more on how we can improve our character. No? So yeah, so with that, I'll turn you over to Sir Dodong for the rest of the discussion. All right, Sir Dodong, take it away. Cecil, maraming salamat ha. And marami rin salamat sa lahat ng bumalik who joining us today. I'd like to also thank yung uh, member ng movement team, sila Rich, sila Albert, sila Bong, for your continued support. No, Hopefully, we will have a um, good discussion ngayon. So anyway, uh, again, no, we are just doing this as a test run ng um, a values formation program called Breaking True. Um, this is really a program that we, hush, we, we hope to launch in the middle of this year. So last, last, last week, we had a, a, a discussion. First of all, I told you about the reason why we're doing this. And then we talked about the importance of work. As I, could, as I decide to continue to help you understand how we can create wealth, alam mo, merong, merong sinasabi ang mga tao na... Um, you know, may sinasabi na uh, walang masipag na mahirap. Diba? And walang tamad na mayaman. Pero recently, meron nagtanong sa akin, okay, agree ako na walang masipag na mahirap and walang tamad na mayaman. Pero the issue is, bakit hindi lahat ng masipag yung mayaman? Do you agree with that? Because some people, they just work so hard and yet parang walang masyadong return sa buhay nila. We know many people sacrifice for their work. Iba na overtime pa ng overtime, hoping to provide a good life for their family. So ito tanong, sige nagsipag tayo, pero bakit pa rin tayo hindi yumayaman? And as I, as I listen to people in their discussion, especially sa internet, they say because kulang ng opportunity. The reason why, sabi nung ibang expert, that the reason why many people do not become rich because kulang ng opportunity. Pero ito tanong ko, bakit minsan lumipat-lipat ka ng opportunity that seems to be better, wala pa rin nangyayari sa buhay mo? On the other hand, some people will say, hindi sa kulang ng opportunity, kulang ng pera para pagsimula ng negosyo to create opportunities to be able to become rich. Kasi maraming tao ang naniniwala na walang yayaman na empleyado. Alam mo, one of these days, I will share with you two people na empleyado na alam ko yumaman. And they were just ordinary janitors and hourly dito sa Bukidnon. Isang kilala ko, taga America, Isang kilala ko, taga Bukidnon. And they were just ordinary people. So, ulitin ko, ang tanong, kung walang ma kung walang masipag na mahirap, walang walang tamad na yumayaman, bakit may masipag na hindi yumayaman? Is it because of lack of opportunities or is it because kulang lang sila ng puhunan? Sa Pilipinas yan parating sinasabi ng mga tao, kulang lang tayo ng puhunan. So as I thought about these issues, 
yun ang naisip ko yung mga sikat na entrepreneurs today. And you see many of them, di ba? Si Steve Jobs, sila Jack Ma, and there are many other in this picture. Question, sila ba yung mga man because opportunities came to them? Noong nagsimula ba sila, marami silang pera? You know, I have been studying the lives of many of these people. And I discovered that many of them started with almost nothing. And they started out of need. I read the story of Henry C. And then si, si John Gokongwei. Both of them start fra, started almost with nothing. Si Henry C. nga, iniwan pa ng tatay niya kasi bumalik yung tatay niya sa China kasi nalugi yung negosyo nila. So ako, I really believe na hindi na, na hindi na the reason why hindi yung mayaman ang masipag hindi dahil sa opportunity or sa kulang ng puhunan last week when i was sharing with you the reason why i want to do this program i shared with you the definition of chayil or work or wealth sabi ko sa inyo as i studied the bible especially Deuteronomy 8:18 it said there that God wants to give us the power to create wealth. And the word wealth is not money or riches. Instead, ang ibig niyang sabihin, physical strength and noble character. Last week, we talked about applying your physical strength. And I told you last week, di ba? Pag masipag ka, hindi ka magugutom. Pero of course, hindi ko sinabi na yayaman ka. I really believe the reason why many people are not rich in spite of their hard work is because we have not yet developed the right character. What do I mean? Bigyan ko kayo ng example. Oftentimes when I talk about uh, entrepreneurship with people or the purpose of business, I always tell them, I always ask them, when you are in business, uh, when you earn, uh, okay, sorry, why are, so I often ask them, no, why are you working or why are you in business? And oftentimes people will say, to earn. And then, ang tanong ko, now that you've earned money, ano ang next goal? To spend. That is the mindset of many Filipinos. Also, I tell them the reason ka hindi yumayaman kasi wala ka namang planong yumaman. Ang plano mo, to earn in order to spend. Kaya nga oftentimes, or jokingly, I call Filipinos ubuser. Anong ubo, sir? Taga-ubos ng sweldo nila. Kasi I really believe if you want to become rich, dapat ang tanong mo, pag kumita ka, paano ko papadamihin? So therefore, ang problema natin is the right character. Yan, right character is keeping people from become from where they are to becoming truly rich. And I realized, I learned that the character of these great entrepreneurs are amazing. Mayaman sila and yet matipid sila. They can buy many good things and yet simply sila. You know, I, I was reading also the life of Warren Buffett, si Jeff Bezos. Do you know that they that they have kept their first car? Meron silang kotse na ang simple-simple. Kasi para sa kanila, hindi importante ang kotse. Ang importante yung negosyo nila. So, the question is, how do we solve this now? How do we address this issue na medyo mali yung character natin kaya hindi tayo yumayaman. Friends, I want you to know that the way to wealth has been revealed even in creation. Alam mo, I hope you don't mind if I continue to use the Bible as a reference. I'm not using the Bible as a reference because I, do, I want to convert you to my religion. I have none. If you ask me what, 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 what's my religion, I just tell you I follow the Lord. I follow Jesus Christ. Okay, And the reason why I share this is because the, these principles have blessed me already. And ngayon, I hope you don't mind, I'd like to show you now from the very beginning of time, from creation, God revealed the way for us to truly become rich by doing two things. Working and developing character. In the beginning, after God created the world, according to Genesis chapter 2, verse 8, it said there that the Lord planted a garden toward the east in Eden, and there he placed the man whom he had formed. 
last week I talked, I, I shared with you my confusion in the beginning. Sabi ko, why will God plant a garden if there is a big earth that needs to be conquered or ruled over? Why did God plant a garden for Adam and Eve? Now, I've discussed that with you last week. But ito ang na-discover ko in my search for in my search for understanding how to create wealth for myself, my family, and the people around me. From this lesson, I discovered that God has prepared a garden for each of us. Kayo lahat, merong hinandang garden si God para sa inyo. Kaso lang, in the beginning, since there was no industry, there was still no commerce, the, the business then was just farming. So, ang tinawag lang sa ang tawag lang doon gardens a, 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 a land entrusted to Adam and Eve. You know today our garden can take different forms. If you're a student, your garden is your school. If you are if you are employee, your garden is the company you work for. If you are an entrepreneur, your garden is the business that you lead or manage. If you are a father, the garden is your home. So God has given all of us a garden to take care of. So ang tanong ngayon, kung gusto ko palaguin yung garden, what should I do? In Genesis 2.15, sinabi dyan, and we read this last week, it said there that if, that, sabi dyan, then the Lord God took man and put him into the garden of Eden to cultivate and keep it. So this is what something I need you to understand. If 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 you have if you have some if you have been entrusted with something, like for example, your job. Your job is your garden. Yan binigay ni God sa iyo yan. Ang gusto niyang gawin mo is to cultivate and keep it. From the very beginning of time, God wants us to be able to take care of what we have and also protect it. Now, let, let me just briefly explain ano ang ibig sabihin ng cultivate. Let me review this. I said to cultivate is to improve your garden through labor. Most people complain na hindi gumaganda yung buhay nila in spite of the work that they do. In fact, I don't know if you follow me in Facebook. But recently, or the other day, we posted this idea of, of my answer to this issue about quiet quitting. Sabi ko doon, nalugi ka pag nag-quiet quit ka kasi hindi mo napapaganda yung buhay mo kasi ang sweldo bayad sa nagawa mo na, hindi bayad sa pwede mo pang gawin. And still, there were people who reacted negatively. Sabi nila, in spite of the hard work that I do, hindi gumanda ang Situation ko sa trabaho. And I will explain why in this lesson. Ulitin ko, to cultivate means when you have been entrusted with something, ang gusto mo siyang gawin is to improve what you have through labor. Pag empleyado ka, ang gusto mong pagandahin yung trabaho mo. Pag negosyante ka, gusto mong pagandahin yung negosyo through the people that who works for you. Pero ang goal parati ng negosyo is to improve it through labor. When I say improve through labor, I am not asking you to be to stress yourself. Ako when I when we improve our farm simply lang kantarga kami. Ang mindset namin sa farm namin is that every day we do something better so that next year the farm will be better. You own ang goal namin sa negosyo namin. In fact, let me share with you a story. Many many years ago, when we were still supplying uh, lettuce to McDonald's, may dumating akong kaibigan. And yung kaibigan ko, dala niya yung isang kalaban namin sa McDonald's. And syempre, hindi mo naman sabihin, wag, wag kang, wag kang mag-ikot. And doon na sila, di ba? So anyway, they were going around. And this particular person, yung kalaban namin, were taking pictures of the whole farm. And so sabi nung kaibigan ko, doon ba't ka pumapayag? Sabi ko sa kanya, Kasi yung kinukunan niyang picture, nakita ko lang sa YouTube yan eh. Okay, o, o, pinandali ko lang naman trabaho niya para gayahin na lang niya. Pero meron siyang hindi kaya gayahin sa farm namin. Which is the way we work. 
because the following year would be different already. We would have improved our operation through our work. So ito ang ibig sabihin ng to cultivate. Hindi mo lang hindi ka lang magbubungkal, but gusto mo parating gumaganda yung garden mo o negosyo mo. However, I need you to realize you cannot improve your garden and make it fruitful if you are not willing to keep it. Anong ibig sabihin keep it? Ang ibig sabihin ng keep it is to protect, to remain, to stay put. Now, why do I say na hindi mo ka siya kayang pagandahin if you do not stay put? Why can't I just cultivate another garden? Okay rin yun. Walang problema yun. Hindi kasalanan yun. However, gagawin mo pa rin yung dapat dun sa ibang garden. Why can't you just stay put and pagandahin siya ng pagandahin? So ito dapat maintindihan ng empleyado. Gaganda din buhay ko. If I always try to be a better person, kasi when, when the bosses see that I am a better person, they'll give me more opportunities to make more money. What do I mean? Yung isang nag yung isang nag-respond sa quiet quitting ko na na video doon sa YouTube eh doon sa Facebook sabi niya na alam mo I I I work hard eh and the only payment I receive is more work. 'Di ba sabi niya, imagine binayaran nila ako ng more work, why will I work harder? Hindi niya naintindihan. More work were a sign that the bosses trust the person already. So more work is an opportunity also for him to grow in his position, to grow as a worker, and papunta na siya doon. Kaso lang, nung nabigyan siya ng maraming trabaho, sa ko na, nabibigyan lang ako ng maraming trabaho. Di ba? You need to stay put, you need to persevere, you need to protect if you want it to improve. Binigyan ka ng mas maraming trabaho. To some people, masama yun. Uy, Binigyan ka ng maraming trabaho. Di ba yun now you grow in ability? Pero ang problema, if I stay put, ang daming problema. Ang daming problema sa garden ko. Yung boss ko hindi ko makasundo. Yung, yung katrabaho ko hindi uh, para, para uh, toxic. Daming problema. So when people encounter problem, they will now ask, Is there something better elsewhere? So let me ask the question. Is there something better elsewhere? Let me give you the answer. There is. There is something better elsewhere. But where you are could actually be very good if you just understand why there are problems where you are. Today I will not talk about the different the different characters that you need because we just don't have time. Instead I will tell you how character is grown and it is grown if you stay put. Let me explain. So medyo inis ka sa negosyo mo or sa negosyo mo or sa trabaho mo kasi daming problema eh. Pero I often ask people, did you pray for your job? Did you pray for your business? Did you pray for your garden? Sabi mo ba, Lord, can you give me a business that will help me prosper so that I can be a blessing to other people? Lord, can you give me a good job where I can grow so that I can be a blessing to my family? So no, did you pray for that? Many of you did. Kaso lang, pagdating mo, sa, pagdating mo dun sa trabahong binigay ni God sa'yo, ang dami talagang sakit sa ulo relationship issue, money problem. So ang tanong ko, do you think God committed a mistake? Tingin mo ba yung binigay ni God sa'yo, mali yun? Kasi sabi mo, Lord, humingi ka ako sa'yo yung magandang trabaho, dahil may problema. Si God ba nagkamali? Or are you exactly where God wants you to be? What do I mean? What is this question? Why is staying put essential? Pagdating mo dun sa trabaho na binigay ni God sa'yo, Lord, give me a job where I can grow and provide for my family. All of a sudden, 
binigyan ka ni God ng buisit na boss. Alam mo ba, ay lumo yun yung lahat na lang ng mali mo na ikita. Tapos parati kang pinagdidiskitahan. So sabi mo, Lord, ang hiningi ko, negosyo where I will grow. So ito tanong ko, bakit ka ba nagsastruggle sa boss mo? ba diba? Kasi meron siyang nakikita na mali mong ginawa. Kung wala ka bang maling ginawa, dingin mo magagalit yung boss mo. Alam mo kung yung boss mo, pinagalitan ka maski tama yung ginawa mo, baliw yung boss mo. So iwanan mo. Pero ang tanong ko rin, yung, bo- yung lahat ba ng kasama mo, ini sa boss mo o ikaw lang o dalawa lang kayo? So is it possible that the reason why binigyan ka ng ni God ng boss na ganyan is because meron siyang pinapabago sa'yo? Na kung yung boss binigay niya sa'yo, masyadong mabait, you will not grow. Di ba you prayed? You prayed that God will give you a job kung saan pwede ka mag-grow. You see, all of us have flaws. All of us have flaws. All of us have things that we need to improve or correct. So God will send us people to improve us. However, natural din sa tao na pag kinokorek siya, nasasaktan siya. Kaya ka nasasaktan. Kasi meron siyang pinapakita sa iyo na kailangan mong baguhin. But of course, no, employees will say, but sir, dong, I've done my best. Tapos rineject pa rin ng boss ko. We will discuss this in length in the future, but ito parati ko sinasabi sa tao. You see, your, be- bo- your best may not be the standard of your boss. Naintindihan niyo yun? Sir Dong, I've done my best. Kaya siya na-reject ng boss mo because it is not good enough for your boss. So kaya lang niya na-reject. Kung ginawa mo according to his standard, hindi ka may reject ng boss mo eh. And oftentimes, ito ang nakikita ko sa mga bata. Gusto nila, gusto nila natanggapin ng boss nila or ng authority nila yung gawa nila because they did their best. This is something I'm learning. Doing your best does not mean doing what's right. And the one who decide what is right is your authority or your boss. If you want to please your boss, if you want to be accepted, two things you need to do. One, change your heart. Do not see the boss as an enemy. And second, correct your ways. If you don't know how to correct it, then ask your boss. Boss, ano ba standard mo para ma-meet ko siya? Now, supposing ginawa mo yon, o di ba you've grown as a person already? You become a better person? Hindi ba? Hindi naman yung sinasabi ko. By responding to a boss who you feel is unfair, now you become a better person. And then in the company, meron pag ibang problema, may narinig ako. So don't toxic ng kasama ko. Toxic. Okay? Naiinis ako sa kanila. Chismosa, uh, they backstab. Toxic. Anong connection nito to me becoming a better person? You see, in the future, there are two there are two direction where you can go where you can go up you can be a manager or you can be a businessman when you become a manager mas maraming toxic na tao pag naging entrepreneur ka mas maraming toxic na tao kasi mas marami kang kausap eh if you do not know how to handle your coworkers habang nasa baba ka pa you will not be able to learn how to handle People, when you are already an entrepreneur or executive. So the, the struggle that you are going through are things that will help you to grow by leaving the company and going somewhere else. Is there an assurance that you will find a job that is perfect? Walang toxic na kasama, mabait na boss, walang problema, meron bang ganon? Sana meron. Pero most probably hindi. Most probably wala. Because all companies have their own have their own unique culture. And this is what I'm discovering. Many of the bosses are accidental leaders. Ano accidental leaders? 
they became leaders only because magaling sila. So hindi talaga sila leader. So they will commit mistakes. And the people around you, they're not there to hurt you. Meron lang din silang problema. So ikaw as a person, you just have to learn how to adapt. You just have to learn to become a better person. Sabi ko sa inyo, no, minsan ang problema sa kumpanya, boss mo. Minsan co-worker mo. Minsan, ang dami-daming problema. Hindi maubos ang problema. Many employees today will say, you know, I struggle with employment because you have no life of your own. Daming deadlines, daming burdens. So nag-iisip sila. Maybe it is time to go on my own, become an entrepreneur. Sabi ko, patay na. Akala nila, mas madali maging entrepreneur. Nagre-reklamo ka ng 8 to 5. Tapos minsan may overtime pa. Sabi natin hanggang 9 o'clock. Nagre-reklamo ka. Hindi mo ba alam ng entrepreneur should be available 24-7? Na pag tinawag siya ng negosyo, dapat andun siya. Walang panahon ng entrepreneur. Wala siyang sarili niyang oras, especially in the beginning. And here you are. You want to become an entrepreneur. Ayaw mo maging empleyado. Is it possible that God place you there because He's training you for a better future? Possibly ba yun? Possibly, no? Di ba? So why should you stay put? Because staying put will grow your character. Ito nangyayari sa tao. Ayaw ko yung boss ko. Kumbalis ako. Naghanap ako ng ibang boss. Maybe the next boss is someone better. But he will still have to, di ba, manage a boss. Alam mo, you can go somewhere else or you can stay put. I will just learn to work with my boss. Let me share with you a story. When I was working for HP, I worked for HP for 12 years. 10 years with a distributor, 2 years with HP itself. Because they moved to the country in 2015. Alam ba nyo na every day, every, every year, I plan to resign. Every year, nagahanap ako ng bagong trabaho. Kasi feeling ko, mas magaling ako sa mga boss ko. Nyo? Yabang. Di ba? Every year na lang. Every year, nagahanap ako, nag-a-apply ako. But I just did not find something better. In the year 2016, sabi ko, sa boss, sabi ko kay God, Sige Lord, I will stay. I will change my heart, I will stay. I will learn to submit to my boss. Even if at times I feel I am better, I will submit. At the end of 2017, God took me from Manila and brought me to Bukidnon. I feel that God took me out when I was ready. Do you understand what I am telling you? You see, staying put grows our character. If you have no choice but to face the problem that you complain about, the only option you have is change character. Change you to become a better person. Let me share with you some of my learnings some of my learnings sa, sa farming and sa negosyo. I say, farming is not about the crop you grow, but about the farmer who grows them. Success at work is not about the job you do, but about the person who do it. Business is not about the product you sell, but about the entrepreneur who sells it. In life, and in work, everything is about you, growing you. It should it, it, it's not about you in a selfish way. It's about you as a person who can grow and mature. Isaiah 37 verse 31 says, And the remnant shall again take root downward to bear fruit upward. As you stay put, as you stay in your company, pag nagsipag ka, Abilities will grow. 
Pero if you stay put, character will grow deeper. As you continue to stay put, you will gain wisdom. There are many characters that we will have to discuss in the future. But I just want you to understand today the idea of staying put so that you can grow. Friends, at this point, I would like now to spend um, 15 minutes to um, for question and answer. Medyo kulang ho kami sa mga breakout leaders. So we will just have one big, big breakout mamaya. And, and uh, I will ask you Rich Tan to facilitate that. But for the next 15 minutes, uh, pwede ho tayo magtanong ng tanong. Okay? Would you like to do that? Uh, you can open your you can open your um, uh, mic or you can write the chat your question and I will answer that. Okay. Meron okay. ba kayong tanong sa diniscuss natin? Any question? Wala, no? Ah, uh, dong dong meron akong tanong. Yes, Albert. Yes, yung uh, yung suggestion natin to uh, for us to stay put no in uh, our present job or our work uh, even though we might be encountering a lot of difficulties no. Uh, would you would you give that uh, suggestion or ano, to someone who is say already in his 40s? Does it apply? Does it only apply to younger people? Because some people might think, if I don't make a move now, when will I do it? No, and uh, I might really be missing a lot of uh, some opportunity. So does it apply uh, okay. to all? Ako Albert, when I just stay, when I just say stay put, I'm not saying that you stay put there forever because God, there's two paths for you. You can either go up, be an executive, or you can be an entrepreneur. I only tell people, you can leave for the right reason. If you are leaving for a better opportunity, uh, okay, then, uh, 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 when I say better opportunity, you're not leaving because galit ka sa boss mo, iwas ka ng, ng problema. Para bang, you are leaving because, one, you've grown already. Okay, If you feel that you have developed the necessary abilities and the character, to be able to go on your own, then go for it. I would say go for it. Pero if you are leaving only because you don't like the problem you're encountering, you don't like your boss, it's the wrong reason. Ako, when my people leave because they're going to a better place, I will be very happy for them. But if they are leaving kasi nagtampo, nagalit, nagkuhan, I would tell them, wag mong gawin yan. Lugi ka kasi pag, pag lumipat ka, you will encounter the same thing. So siguro, Albert, kwan ako. Like me, I left the company in the proper time. Kasi sa akin, this is also something we will discuss in the future. Para sa akin, employment is preparation for your own business. But in the, in employment is where you should train. Doon naman, Albert, siguro, sa iba naman, negosyante. Ang gusto ko rin sabihin sa kanya, don't, don't give up on your business immediately. If, that, if it doesn't work agad, don't leave. Kasi yung iba, o oh, hindi kumita, alis na ako at magpalit na ako. Staying put, you, you give yourself time also to, to give that, the business a chance to, succeed, to, to grow. Parang, we, I have, we have a friend here, no? si Richard Tan, yung sana yan. Maraming sumasali sa kanila. And I always tell them, nalulungkot ako, isang taon pa lang umalis. Okay, because they, didn't, they did not stay long enough to be able to grow their ability and give the opportunity, a that give themselves an opportunity to succeed. Ganun lang siguro, Albert. I am not against people leaving. Leave for the right reasons. Okay? I hope Thank I you answered that. Yeah, I think it's a good clarification. Okay. Okay, may nagtanong na si Nora. Okay, Nora, sabi niya, what are the signs when it is time to go? Nora, from experience, for experience, from experience, ito ang alam ko ha. I, I, I always tell people three things you need to do to make to, for, for you to be ready to go. One, if you're an employee, if you're an employee, you have made your boss rich. 
you have learned how to manage people and you've learned how to manage money. These are the reason why I would say it is time to go when you have made your boss rich. Kasi kung ang boss mo na payaman mo, ba't hindi mo kaya payamanin yung boss mo, yung sarili mo? Di ba yung ibang tao alis kasi ayaw nila payamanin yung boss nila? So that means, y- y- nag-apply ka sa trabaho, you agree to do your work, tas ayaw mo payamanin boss mo. Pag hindi mo kaya payamanin boss mo, hindi mo kaya payamanin sarili mo. And in business, dalawa lang talaga ang issue. It is not about product. It is about managing people and managing finances. When you are good in those two, then I'll tell you, it's time to go. Okay? So yun ang belief ko, Nora. Yun ang sinasabi ko most of the time sa mga millennials. When you have man- when you know how to manage people, ano manage people? Even your boss. You know how to manage your boss. You know how to manage your peers. You know how to manage your customer. Bakit yun? Because as an entrepreneur, entrepreneurship is all about people. Okay? It's about people and money. So yun lang sa akin, Nora. I, I hope that helps. That helps you. That, that, that helps answer your question. Nice. Well. Hey, Trump, can you make America like... Okay, tayo. Anybody? Anybody like to ask? Uh, meron ditong tanong. Baka before I, I answer it, anybody you'd like to open their mic and ask? Hi, Dong. Ah, uh, J, J, sir? J, sir? Sino ba ito? Uh, this is Marlon. Ah, Marlon. Marlon, sorry. I, hindi ko nakita sa screen ko. Hello. Yes, Marlon. Ah, uh, sorry. Yeah. Um, I'd like to ask, no, I was uh, pondering on the things that you've mentioned. Um, kasi kanina, when you were saying na uh, uh, when is the, kunyari, uh, you prayed for your work, ganyan. Pero I was thinking lang if, uh, although on on spiritual level, if you know that the Lord has asked you to uh, to work in that company, uh, nakita mo on how He moved. So parang you won't, you won't leave, no? Uh, kasi parang nisip ko nga na oh, di, others would leave kasi mababa yung sweldo, walang increase and all. Uh, pero when when God has asked you to work in that company, siya naman yung magpo-provide. Eh. It may appear to you na kulang lang. No? Yeah, uh, yeah. Pero the provision will still come from the Lord. Um, well, my, my question lang is um, is that something na valid or uh, kasi to uh, someone who, who doesn't have a deeper relationship with the Lord, it's an, really an issue. No? Na, hindi, wala. Hindi ako kumikita. My family needs a, a higher income. Or the others I would uh, hear would say na I don't feel like uh, I'm growing or developing in terms of Uh, parang ang feeling niya is um, yung kanyang, kasi yung boss niya, hindi, uh, parang hindi ganun ka-develop, mag-isip. No? Parang pabaliktad. So ang feeling niya, baka mahawa siya sa boss niya at ganun na yung maging uh-huh. ano niya, work ethics niya. So is that something that is valid? How do you balance na, yeah, the Lord has put you there, pero these are the the circumstances no so yeah. uh yun okay na ba to quit or stay because the lord has asked you to okay. stay okay. pag-usapan natin yun marlo no on something on a spiritual basis on man hmm. god gave me this work pero lord ang baba ng sweldo di ba bible says if you do not know how to manage little god cannot give you much so ito binigay ni god na trabaho sa maliit Is it possible that God's also telling you, anak, learn how to live within that. Learn even to save and tithe with that money. And then kung faithful ka, bigyan kita ng mas malaki. It's the same in the same way then, di ba? Sabi mo, oh, yung boss ko, hindi ako dinidevelop. Yung boss ko, I'm not growing in my in my position. Ito, ito, ang, ito ang respond ko dyan, Marlon. Why are you allowing someone to decide your development? You see, when I joined the distributor of HP, because it was a young company, they don't know how to develop us, the salespeople. In fact, I was the, I think I was the first fresh graduate to join because yung iba, hinar nila from other companies. So they don't know how to develop a, a, new, a, a new graduate. Sabi ko, pag, if, I, if I allow this, parang hindi o wala akong gawin, walang mangyayari sa buhay ko. So what's my choice? To look for someone something else? 
Unfortunately, Marlon, di ba, dun sa, siguro, I hope I hope you don't want, siguro magkasing edad tayo, no? Unfortunately, during our time, there was not a lot of opportunity. Hmm. So I was forced to stay. Pero when I stayed, I told myself, I will not allow others to decide my future. So I would enroll in, I would, in, malit sweldo ko nun ha, pero I would enroll in seminars. I, I in fact, enrolled in, uh, alam mo yun, improving my, my, the way I talk because I really stuttered. Maybe you notice that I still stutter today once in a while. Mm-hmm. Okay? Mm-hmm. So I decided to take control. Okay? Dito ko linagay ni God. Since if I really believe dito yung linagay ako ni God, pero malit ang sweldo, maybe he's asking me to first learn how to manage the small things so that may pag binigyan niya ako ng mas malaki, I know what to do. So yun ang tingin ko, Marlon. You you can mm. you can decide to stay and 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 be a good steward of what God gave you, or you can complain and look for something else. Mm. When you look for something else, the same story will happen again. Mm. Okay, I hope uh, that helps. Yeah, uh, or you, on my end, naman kasi parang yeah, yung 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 relationship we have with the Lord. It's very clear, no. Ang iniisip ko lang, if it will be communicated, for example, your staff are are you know, they don't have a relationship with the Lord. How can you explain? Kasi, biblically, very clear yan. Eh. Tapos malalim yung relationship mo kay Lord. Malinaw, no? But to someone who you know, doesn't have a relationship with God, or hindi ka nang kalalim. If I, if, I am, if I am the boss, mm. I will show an example. You see, bosses are not exempted from struggles. Bosses are mm. not exempted from political issues, kulang ang pera. Alam mo, mahirap ikwento eh. It is better that you show your example. Okay, Marlon, let me just answer this last question, Marlon. Ha? Mm, sure, And then we'll no problem. Uh, okay lang, okay lang. Okay. Thank okay, you. Salamat sa... So, sabi ni... Sabi ni... Sabi, Uptex says, What are the best way to motivate your colleagues not to quit? Because that colleague can still grow pa. You have to answer the question, what's in it for me? This is a... This is a question... That I learned from HP. You know, I used to sell for HP. When we were selling, we would always ask the we would always answer the question, what's in it for me? So when I'm talking to the customer, ko sa kanya, what's in it for you if you buy my product? So I also use that to the people I work with. What's in it for you if you stay put? It cannot be because the company needs you or maraming opportunity tayo pwede ikuan. You need to help the person understand ano benefit niya. Now, question. Is it a selfish question? No. Because we all work to survive. Gusto natin gumawa ng isang bagay that will benefit us. So, you need to find a way to help him understand how he benefits in staying in Aptec. I know Aptec. It's a good company. Sometimes lang, they do not see when they start to compare with other people, hindi na nila nakita yung mali sa ibang kumpanya. Nakita lang nila yung mali sa kumpanya nyo. Basta, I want all of you to know that all companies have their flaws. There is no perfect company. What you struggle with where you are today will also be the struggle that you will have when you go elsewhere. Okay? So, mamimili. Ultimately, you will have to address those issues. Last na lang, Okay? being able to appreciate and having grateful art. Anyway, anyway, so it's 4.44. I'd like to ask, si, wala ho tayong breakout ngayon because we don't have enough breakout leaders. Marami ho ang, marami ho ang parang busy. Si Cecil nga is now listening from Abu Dhabi. Ang bait talaga ni Cecil, no? So I'd like to ask my friend si Rich Tan to lead us in the discussion. Kanina, I posted uh, the question, no? Uh, Rich, can you see the question? Yes, sir. So, hello, good afternoon, everyone. No, uh, I'm sure we had a very uh, blessed afternoon. No, uh, midweek motivation or midweek guidance. No, uh, by the way, I met Sir Dodong uh, as a keynote speaker and trainer for our organization. Okay, way back, way back. So. Sabi ko, blessing talaga siya sa organization ko, sa Yusana. And we grew, no? And right now, our organization spans uh, in 13 countries, 14, 13 countries right now, no? And um, kaya sobrang blessing talaga si, si Sir Dodo. And 
hindi lang sa sana even sa work no kasi lahat naman tayo may tao may employees may organization and um, I'd like to start with these questions okay so one are you thinking of looking for something better and why no um, what will you gain if you decide to stay no parang gusto kong sumagot lahat dito pero <laughs> hindi ako yung mag-answer okay and number three what would you like to change based on today's lesson? Okay, so again, good afternoon, everyone. Everyone is welcome to unmute the, their mics or uh, open your videos. Um, so let's start. Game. Random tayo or mag-volunteer turo ako. No? So, game. Again, no judgment sa answer dito. Kanya-kanyang answer tayo. Um, di rin naman tayo magkakilala, no? Kung saan-saan tayo nang galing, no? Iba-ibang kumpanya tayo. And, and there's no judgment here. At the end of the day, um, we're just answering these things um, to benefit us and um, maka-benefit din yung mga iba nakikinig. Okay? Siguro so again, who would like to start? Magtuturo na ba ako, Sir Dodong? Tawag ko dyan, volunturo. Volunteer na tinuturo. Nako, ang dami ko nakikita na hindi tumitingin sa camera. No? Hindi na po gumagana yan ever since. <laughs> sa classroom, di ba? Pag nagtatanong ang teacher, hindi titingin sa teacher. Hindi po gumagana yan. <laughs> Ikaw po lalo ang ituturo. Okay. Pero, ayun. Sige, let's start with ano, si Eden. Si Eden, kausap ko to last time. Eh, no? So, ka-breakout session ko to last time. Good afternoon, Eden. Ako lang naman ang Eden dito, di ba? Yes, you are, <laughs> no? Right. Uh, yung kanina kasi, when, yung sinabi yung sa ano, yung wealth, no? Wealth, yung child is physical strength and noble character. I always like to think, ang lagi ko kasi sinasabi, uh, pag may sinasabi lang, sino mayaman dito, pinagtatawanan nila. Kasi nagtataas ako ng kamay. Tapos sabi nila, wag mo itas yung kamay mo, baka mautangan ka pag sinabi mo mayaman ka. Sabi ko, hindi. Sinasabi ko mayaman ako kasi anak, alam ko, sabi, anak ako ng Diyos, sabi ko, eh di ba sabi niya, I will inherit the earth. So, pero sa akin kasi, uh, wealth doesn't necessarily talaga mean money. I, actually, I, well, who wouldn't want to have money, di ba? But I live comfortably. I'm very comfortable actually right now while listening. Nakabukas ang aircon kasi ang init-init although nasa bahay ako yung ganun. Kaya lang uh, nakita ko dun sa ano kahit tong last pa na, ano, na na discussion ni Sir Dodong. Um nakita ko ang dami kong kailangang baguhin for myself. Ang dami kong kailangang baguhin dahil uh, there are some small bad habits that I have to remove. Katulad nun, yung, yung sinasabi niyang Johnny Toro, pero di ba, milyonaryo after a few years, um, siguro kailangan, I, I earn a little bit more than a Johnny Toro. Kailangan na siguro for me to uh, be a little bit more restrained in the way I I spend the money I earn. Yung ganun. Yeah. Tapos at saka ano, um, um, yung, yung change of, yung correct my ways, I, I think I have a still a long way to go before uh, I will say na tama na yung ginagawa ko and maybe change my heart. The reason, the one, uh, one other reason why I'm here right now is, alam mo, while, go, while Sir Dodo was going through all of this, sabi ko, my goodness, my, my employees would, ano, would benefit a lot from here. Kasi it's, ano, it's, um, it, it, it's, it's tell, saying something we cannot say, but we have always wanted to tell them. Kasi puro mga bata, marami dyan, puro mga, mga bata pa lang, fresh grads silang pumasok sa amin. And we try as much as we could to teach them the values that they will need when they go out there. Um, kaya lang, they're in a bit of struggle now and uh, we would like to be able to help them. Kung madinig nila ito, I think it is going to help them a lot. So itong mga discussion questions na to, I think at dami nilang masasagot dito. Yun lang. Thank you very much. Thank you, Thank you very much, Miss Eden. No? And I agree, no? And when you you are leading a lot of people, when you are handing a lot of people, ano eh, um, iba-iba ang culture nila, iba-iba ang values nila coming from different families. 
And sometimes, we don't have the the buffer already, the emotional buffer na isa-isahin mo. Ito yung aayusin mo ugali ng tao. Ito yung aayusin mo ugali ng tao. Kasi, again, you are running a business. You 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 need to train them on skills, uh, basic skills, know-how, things to do in your company, in their job, right? Pero, again, it's very important yung values formation. Eh. Kasi, yung, yung katulad na sinabi ni, ano, diba, ni Sir Dodo, if you stay put, you you will grow in character right and uh, ang ang maganda pa dito third party ang magsasabi hindi po ikaw miss Eden di ba and ang maganda may basis may basis which is the bible right so ayan thank you very much miss Eden si si brother Norman yan nagtataas ng kamay okay yeah, hi, so hi. hello brother Norman yes yes good afternoon everyone so I'd yeah, like to ano, to do a brief sharing na, no? as an answer to the number one. Siguro hindi na answer kung baga it's uh, reframing the, the question. Are you considering looking for something better? Siguro ang tanong ko sa sarili ko is are you considering of some of doing uh, considering of doing something better? Not looking. Okay? Uh, what stops into my mind ever since is uh, Ito ba yung sa Matthew 25, verse 14 to 46, di ba? Yung, yung parable of the talents. Uh, I've started sharing this parable of the talents. Kung even sa, ano, sa, sa workplace namin, kasi I've always been telling na sino ba tayo doon sa mga slaves na yon? Ako ba yung slave number one, slave number two, or slave number three? So meaning, parang gusto kong sabihin, I, I wanted to be either slave number one or slave number two. Kasi once the master go back, meron akong ibabalik sa kanya. And hopefully, pag pinalik ko sa kanya yung whatever na imentrust niya sa akin, may doble ko siya. Ngayon, it's the same perspective that, I want, that I've been sharing to, to a lot of people. Kasi parang uh, there's no time for us really to be complacent and just sit around without doing anything. Ngayon, what's good with, with what Dodong shared a while ago, it, uh, it strikes me a lot. Kasi... Diba, uh, sabi nga, if you wanted to cultivate, you have to ano, to put some labor and stay put. A uh, few years back, siguro daw daw naalala mo pa ang tanong mo sa akin, bakit hindi ka mag-stay? Diba, <laughs> daw na, naalala mo yun. So, it was one of the, ano, yung pumunta ako ng Similia, and parehas kami ni daw daw ng kwento eh. Kami yung mga Tagaluson na itinapon sa Mindanao. So, with that, kumbaga parang, from from that time and until now kumbaga i I've, I've, I've been always uh, i've always been in the guidance of this ano uh, parable of the talents just to make sure that uh one way or the other however small it will be uh to be able to contribute and be a very good ano uh, kumbaga servant once the master comes back so yun lang sir richard uh, brother richard yun lang yung ano tungkol dun sa item na yon Okay, thank you, Sir Norman. No, and and I agree with you. No, doing something better. And I was reminded, yung sinabi ni Sir Dodo kanina na very simple ang strategy nila sa farm nila. No, it's just doing one thing, doing better than yesterday. No, hindi ganon ka ano. No, so even in our jobs, even in our businesses, um. Marami tayong nakikita sa sa social media na uy may bagong technology, may bagong tool. And and, and I like to share with you um uh, strategic planning, no? I, I I learned something na ang mga American strategic planning, what they do is pag may may problem sa buong sa load ng organization, they 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 hire someone externally, they pay someone externally, they buy something externally to fix the internal problem. With Japanese people, uh, their strategic planning is always uh, they look for the problem inside and they find the strength inside to fix that problem. Okay? So, totoo eh. I mean, it's simple lang talaga. You have to just do better. One day at a time, one thing at a time. And who knows by next year, nag-improve ka. Okay? So, thank you very much, Sir Norman, no? Up next is Brother Edmar Romero. Okay, listening from? Good afternoon po. Uh, we are listening from Abu Dhabi. 
Hello, hello from Abu Dhabi. And of course, uh, gusto kong i-appreciate yung lesson na engineer ni Sir Dodong for us today. At uh, gusto ko lang uh, bigyan ng diin yung item 2, yung question number 2, yung what will you gain if you choose to stay? Actually, uh, whether you are <coughs> employed or whether you are running your own business, napakaganda yung sabi niya kanina, staying put will grow your character. Because character must be in line with in a godly way. Kapag ka, whether you are employed or uh, whether you're running your own, kapag ka okay ang character mo, God is always looking at the intention of our heart. Like myself, I was employed in the Middle East for the last, I think, 38 years. And uh, brother-in-law ko ni Cecil. And right now, after that long, because God is always looking at the right character and the right intention of our heart, that's why I'm running my own business here in the UAE. Uh, we are on the engineering firm for oil and gas. And praise God. God answer our prayer. Why? Because, because we maintain our character in a godly way. And they shifted us from employment to running your own business. So character is the best because school, skill and experience can be developed. But character must be in line in a godly way. And God will look at the intention of our heart. So I choose number to question him. Thank you, thank you, Paul. Wow, thank you, thank you, brother Edma, Edmar, no, from from UAE, no. Totoo yan, no. Lahat tayo, uh, we are um, in God's training. Yan din ang masasabi ko. When I am in a very difficult situation, I call that day. I'm in God's training, no, and. Uh, Hindi siya nag stop ng isang araw eh. Or a certain age eh. It's a life, lifelong learning eh. Right? So, uh, ang ganda no? Thank you for, for that sharing, Sir, Sir Edmar. No? Inspiring. 38 years. Grabe, no? Uh, so, ibig sabihin, matanda na, na po tayo. <laughs> <laughs> matanda na, na, na po yun. tayo. Matanda na po tayo. So, it's okay. It's okay. Tawag po dyan, wisdom. Okay, wisdom po tawag Salamat po, salamat po. Thank you for sharing that. Uh, lalo na sa mga uh, mga kaedaran ko at mga kabataan katulad ko. Okay? So, yun lang po. Thank you very much, no? Let's go to Sister Tere Buena. We are listening from... Quezon City Farview. <laughs> po, yes, very far. Very far, very view. far, Hello. far view. Hello po. Kinakabahan ako. First time ko lang makasama dito and sobrang... Na bless ako kay Sir Dodong. So ano, um gusto ko lang din mag-share about medyo late ako pero nanakuha ko yung mga ano niya, yung mga nasabi niya and na parang naano sa akin, na struck sa akin. So yun pala no, are you considering looking for something better? Why? Bali kasi ngayon nasa business ako and which is you sana nga yan, mentor rich tan. So um ano parang um ang background ko is ano um store manager no and I'm 42 now. And um dahil nasa business nga ako, sa totoo lang hihirapan talaga ako kasi nga nasa employment mindset ako. Nihirapan ako mag-shift sa maging entrepreneur. And parang lagi ko nilang kinoconsider na bumalik sa work. And kaya lang um alam ko nga na meron din akong personal struggle, uh, meron akong character problem which is dahil nga nahihirapan ako sa business ko. Kagaya nga ng sa sabi ni Sir Dodong, kahit bumalik ako or maghanap ako ng iba, ba, ganun pa rin yung resulta ng magiging struggle ko. So, ibig sabihin, meron pa rin akong problema na kailangan kong i-correct. Parang, parang sabi ko nga, ano, haba pa lang tumatanda tayo, um, mas lalo tayong napapalapit kay God, mas lalo natin siyang nakikilala, and mas lalo natin naiintindihan yung, yung purpose natin sa buhay. No? So, parang, um, yun pala, sa, sa point ng buhay ko, natutunan ko na um, hindi ka makakaalit. Parang may level, ba? Parang mga sa games lang. Doon sa level 1, pag hindi mo natutunan yung buhay ng le- yung, yung tinuturo sa ni God doon sa level 1, kahit na makarating ka ng level 2, babalik ka ulit doon sa level 1 na yun hanggat hindi mo siya naitatama. So, yun yung talagang struggle ko. No? Parang niloloko ko lang yung sarili ko na naghahanap ako ng something better dahil gusto ko lang makatakas kung ano yung meron ako ngayon. 
Pero um na kanina na, naisip ko, oo nga no, bakit ako aalis dito? Eh may natutunan naman na ako. Alam ko na yung mga kailangan kong gawin. And but pa ako naghahanap ng kinoconsidered ko pa yung iba. Eh nandito na nga ako. And ano lang ako na struck lang ako na sinabi na, oo nga no, um hindi ka mapupunta diyan kung hindi ka dinala ni God diyan. So maraming ang hirap, maraming hirap pero Um, maybe kaya hindi pa binibigay talaga ni God yung uh, mag-boom din yung business ko because uh, may kulang pa akong skills na dapat gawin. And ang nakakatuwa, what will what will you gain if you choose to stay, no? So, sabi ko nga ano, oo nga no, parang ang ano magigain ko siya, syempre, 'di ba? Yun nga yung kulang ko eh. Personal growth, kailangan yun yung yun yung magigain ko, yung skills. Mas strengthen yung buhay ko lalo na mas napapalapit ako kay God na mas lalo akong nahihirapan, mas lalo akong tumatawag sa kanya. And then, syempre, yung career, di ba? Yung, yung pagiging successful. And what would you like to change based on today's lesson? No? So, parang um, sobrang natuwa lang din talaga ako na ano, nakikita ko yung sarili ko na um, sobrang nakakatuwa to kasi first time ko lang kasi si Mentor Michi yung nag-send ng link. So, parang na, na, ano, alam ko nga si Sir Dodong, di ba, ano siya, um, inspirational trainer and na, na about God, di ba? So, parang ta- sobra talagang na, na-interested ako. So, um, sobrang happy lang din ako doon. So, yun lang, happy to share. Okay, thank you very much, Tere, no? Um, so, mag-usap tayo after nito. <laughs> Same company naman tayo, okay? Now, let's let's get one more, pero to answer the third question. Wala pa sumasagot ang third question, eh, no? Uh, what would you like to change based on today's lesson? Nako! No? Si, who would like to take this uh, question? Feel free to unmute uh, or raise your hand. Um, Rich? Yes? Sige, ako na lang. Who is speaking? Si Paring Marlon. Marlon. Hello, Brother yeah. Marlon. Hello, hello. Yeah. Oh, uh, sa akin, ano, um, it's more of, ano, uh, be more conscious of the, uh, yung, yung nga, to cultivate. Um, Kung baga sa Japan, Japanese term is Kaizen. To continuous improvement. Na you don't just settle for uh, your current process. But, uh, yun nga, consciously whether may initiative or merong sabihin yung company from your own ano initiative ikaw na mag mag-isip and uh, sabi nga ni ano sabi ni uh, Sir Dodong kanina when they work hard uh, hindi naman ibig si hindi ibig sabihin pag nag-cultivate ka mas stress ka but if you improve your process uh, less stressful dapat sa mga employees so yeah that that's my take on on the third question Thank you, Brother Marlon. Mm-hmm. And, and important rin to that most of our employees, our, our, our partners, business partners, our associates, magkaroon ng ganong mindset na hindi naghihintay ng, ng instruction from the boss, hindi ma- naghihintay ng instruction from the HR, or hindi naghihintay ng instruction doon sa may-ari ng company. No? Uh, and this is the best way to do it. May third party na magsasabi. <laughs> right? Y- y- yun yung challenge eh. Yun yung challenge lalo na pagbago. No? Lalo na pag... I-, I still remember when I was um, working in HP. By the way, tag-HP rin ako. Yung unang job ko. No? Baka nag-abot pa kami ni Sir Dodong sa HP. And syempre, first day mo, first week mo, it's all about orientation. Right? Orientation, orientation, orientation. Okay? The, the company would tell you what to do. First things first. Step one, two, three. And I don't know kung ganun pa rin ang process right now. Ah. Um, pero it, it gives the employees no, the thinking that, okay, okay, I just wait for my, my, my instruction. I just wait for them to tell me what to do. And I just do my job. No? And, and, and I think um, dapat somehow magbago na rin yung process na yun na magkaroon ng somehow monthly coffee session or feedback session no na oh, what can we improve in our process in our company right na instead of yung mga may-ari ng 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 mga companies or yung mga bosses or HR having this insecurity na hoy baka 
etong mga bagong generation they would would tell us to do something different no it's it's really about um seeing other perspectives na it's really up to you kung kukunin mo or hindi it's just listening to them in my organization um in Yusana um we 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 are one of the biggest uh organization in in the whole Yusana Philippines no and sometimes it 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 gets to you that i've been doing Yusana for 13 years already and you uh, and someone new who just came in who just joined the organization i would tell you something that feedback uh something that you could do improve and sometimes it's very hard to ano to to swallow that but i always remember yung yung sinasabi ni Sir Dodong na ang tawag dito every single day you just find one thing to improve okay and who knows hindi pa galing sa iyo yan no galing pa sa ibang tao okay so yon thank you very much no brother Marlon for sharing no Now, o oh nga, 5 o'clock na, sorry. Medyo na carried away tayo sa lahat ng sharing natin, lahat ng discussion question natin. Thank you very much for all who shared. I'd like to pass on no, the floor to Sir Bo to close this session. But may I remind you everyone no, to please like and follow uh, facebook.com, Dodong Kakanando sa chat group. And we would like to encourage you to register uh, sa Viber group natin. And very important, crucial to kasi that's why we're running we were doing a pilot run no itong um, feedback and experiences uh, would help us enhance this program nasa chat group po mm -hmm. sa forms po okay so back to you uh, i'd like to pass the floor to sir bong to to close the 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 session today thank you very much sir bong Okay, yeah. Uh, so thank you very much, uh, Sir Rix. Uh, so we're about to close. So uh, God has taught us uh, through Dodong na uh, lahat tayo binigyan ng uh, garden to cultivate. That's our work. And uh, we need to stay put because we need to grow our character in the in the garden where he placed us. So then we, uh, we have to grow our uh, abilities for God has given us uh, talent according to our abilities. And so uh, if uh, what we have also learned, if we are already uh, able to make our company rich and uh, manage the people, maybe it's already time for you to become an entrepreneur. But again, just like uh, Brother Marlon said, we need to wait for God's uh, instruction because it is still him who will promote us to that kind of level. And so uh, with that, uh, I would like to uh, close in prayer. So let's put ourselves uh, in the presence of God. Our most gracious and loving Heavenly Father, we thank you, Lord, for using Dodong, Lord God, to remind us of God that uh, you have already uh, prepared for this garden for us to cultivate, oh Lord God. Thank you, Lord, for reminding us of God to, to stay put in our businesses, in our jobs, or wherever you place us. To grow our character, O oh Lord God, and allow us to change our heart towards our employers, to our managers, and to those people who have authority over us, O oh God. And so we have to change our heart to learn from them, O oh Lord God. And so, Father, we look forward for another session next uh, week. Uh, the uh, more things that uh, you want us uh, to be equipped as our training ground so that you be we become better, O oh Lord God. So, Father, thank you for those who shared and uh, their thoughts. And uh, thank you for those people for uh, far away, for Edmar, for Tere, and for everybody who shared their thoughts, Lord God, so that everyone could be edified, Lord God. Father, we look forward once again that we meet again next week, Lord, as you bless us this afternoon. And all these things we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Salamat, so, Bong. Uh, Salamat. Salamat sa inyong lahat. Amen. Thank you very much for spending your afternoon with us. God bless all of you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Sir Dong. Salamat, you, Sir ha. Dong. Salamat talaga. Ha.